Hi guys and welcome. Um, I've been having a wee play with the laser since I uh, finished it. Having a go at engraving. I've still got, you can probably see a bit of engraving going on down here. Uh, I've still got a bit more work to do on that. But uh, Ed asked a question about uh, could it burn through pa sandpaper. And uh, that got me thinking. Uh, a while ago a little project I had in mind was uh, to use something like this, an electric toothbrush, there's no battery in it at the moment, but to remove the bristles and cut out some sandpaper heads for it, uh, probably with a sticky back sandpaper or just a dab of glue on these things here, and um, uh, use it for sanding into, into tight places. And uh, the, the problem was I didn't fancy cutting these out with scissors, uh, they'd be very time consuming and I don't think they'd uh, do many favours for the scissors either. So uh, Ed's question about the uh, uh, could it cut out sandpaper uh, got me thinking and uh, could be the answer to that question. I also want to make some small sanding mops and I thought well if it'll, it'll cut through um, uh, cloth uh, back sandpaper that would be really good and uh, make uh, making sanding mops uh, quite easy. I'm, I'm talking you know probably only about this this sort of diameter. So the answer to the question of course is yes because as you can see I've done it but uh, I was gonna run you through the process anyway. Now cutting through here uh, is proved to be very slow. Um, I'm cutting it uh, three inches a minute basically. Um, but uh, that's not really a major problem because if you were cutting out a heap of them you just put a whole heap on on a uh, on the file and just let it cut it out and come back and remove them when the, when it was finished. So a few modifications I've made to this since last time is this line here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll just zoom in on it. This line here and that's in dead alignment with the laser spot itself and I have a corresponding line on either side of the uh, Y uh, sides of the um, of the uh, bottom here so there's a, there's a line here and a line there so for alignment all I have to do is bring the cutter towards me like so so I want to make uh, this here where my origin there I just bring it over there and then just set my uh, X to zero so in this case here I'm going to be cutting over this side here so I'm going to go about here and I'll just set X to zero likewise I can now just come along to the side here and I'll just bring it Oops, wrong button bring it down here and I've got a line just here, bring it, bring it forward till it's just above the previous cut there, and I'll, I'll call that uh, Y0. Right, with that done, I can now start the machine and run the file. Right, so it's right, so that's finished. And here we go here. And it's just basically a matter of just uh, catch it like that and we'll, it'll come out, it's cut all the way through. And there's the piece of sandpaper all cut. Okay guys, well, I'm going to have a bit more of a play and see what else I can do with this. Okay, cheers.